in the heart of Geelong CBD. Think Tank is a modern prefab building adopting the latest technologies to unleash the potentials of sustainability. The building site was earlier used as a warehouse building and was redeveloped into a mixed use structure. The building has access to look educational institutes in proximity. The site is also a convenient location to the public transportation facilities as well as local markets. The proposed site is divided into two parts consisting of residential and commercial areas using modern methods of construction. Initially, the foundations for the building are laid on site. There are 18 cast in to concrete columns that are erected with the first floor beams in place. The concrete shear wall is raised supporting the main staircase on each side of the building. The constructed prefab modules are brought to site and placed. The stacking starts with two modules on first floor level by taking the support of the columns, beams and shear wall. The rest of the modules are stacked and locked on each other with horizontal and vertical joinery. The connections between the structural elements are bolted for an ease of assembly and disassembly. <coughs> the prefab modules of the Tink Tank are developed in the manufacturing facility which is near the site. The core material used is CLT which helps reducing the car carbon footprint. The CLT panels can be customized in various combinations to form kitchen, bed and bath units which are all identical in size. The module construction is a step-by-step -step process that starts with the laying of CLT floor slabs. It is followed by adding the identical CLT panels which are then locked into the position as shown. The necessary services are later integrated and then the CLT. In the end, double glaze operable window is fixed on one side of the module using metal frames. This metal frame will furthermore aid in hoisting the modules during transport. One of the unique sustainable features of the building is the kinetic and green facade. The facade on all sides of the building acts as an envelope bearing various advantages. The kinetic facade can achieve different configurations as shown. The standard feature of this facade is that each resident of a particular module can operate the kinetic facade units as per their preference. Additionally, helps to maintain natural ventilation and optimize the solar lighting within the modules. The green wall on the north side not only gives the aesthetic look, but also contributes to overall power, gen power generation of the building. In addition to that, louvers on the center guides cross ventilation through the atrium. We'll further talk about two characters that have been associated with the think tank space. Ross, an international student, has chosen to study in Geelong and finds a place of residence in the think tank building. The residence offers affordable housing facilities in form of studios for students. Ross being new to the city needs to find a job to support his living expenses. The building has an opportunity for all the students deciding to provide the services in the cafe and retail spaces and earn a wage. The kinetic facade elements not only provide an aesthetic site but also help control light, air and temperature. This system helps Ross read his book by controlling the natural light entering his studio. Ross has an interest in learning about business and finance. That makes the afternoons quite eventful for him as there are expert seminars and presentations held for the different topics and lecture spaces for the building. Later in the evening, the residents usually meet at the common space on the first floor and have a chill time watching a movie or playing games or just with some conversations. This is the story about Rachel, a local artist that loves expressing herself through art and creating beautiful abstract sculptures and paintings. She is intrigued by some display work as she walks past the Think Tank gallery. She walks inside and discovers many items from the retail space that she could use to enhance her artwork. After a point, she becomes a regular at the cafe and uses her time there to come up with new ideas over coffee. 3D printers from the workshop are a great tool for her sculpture. Rachel puts this for sale in the gallery space as well as on the Think Tank website. This allows buyers to buy items and pick them up from click and collect at the flexible. Thank you.